Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to check the up-and-coming new artifacts in Call of Dragons. Finally we are able to get some new uh, epic fighting artifacts. So we're gonna check which ones are good, which ones are bad, uh, which ones will be useful in the future. So stick around and let's dive in. Uh, of course, I have been waiting for the new artifacts, especially epic ones, because we were lacking some epic artifacts, and finally they delivered. And let's check one by one. Uh, the Dagger of Betrayal, uh, all rounder, which means you can use this artifact with every single Legion type in the game. Also, it's a support type. And what's pretty unique about this artifact is that Legion March Speed uh, is a support type, and Legion Attack, like you have a both stats, which is pretty good in my opinion, uh, march speed especially for marksmen and cavalry units, marksmen because they have the lowest amount of march speed in the game. The new uh, ability of the artifact which is dispel a buff from a random nearby enemy legion, uh, like time by time in Call of Dragons we are getting more and more heroes which are control based. Uh, so additional dispels in the game, uh, it's a good addition which I like it, it a, lo a lot. And this artifact has an additional effect, deals damage to the target legion after you have dispelled to buff effects using artifact skill. And the damage factor will be 200 and the damage type will be physical and also magic, which is pretty unique. So like it's pretty simple, you are helping your alliance members and yourself uh, debuffing the uh, buff you have uh, on your legions, which might give you the Alwins, which might give you the Tohars, for example. And like by just being a good guy, uh, helping everybody around, you are getting additional damage uh, to the uh, enemy legion. So pretty unique uh, Dagger of Betrayal, we have not had something like this, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, so like whenever there is something new in the game, I'm always excited because I'm trying my best to soak up as much fun out of the game. The next artifact is Steel Heart Avenger, uh, Marksman PvP Assault Artifact. Uh, great attributes, Marksman Unit Attack, Legion Attack. Uh, like we have already had a couple of marksman epic um, artifacts such as heart piercer and bomb finger but yeah we get another one still hurt avenger the talents are pretty great great it's um, uh, like underlined that it's all about fighting with this artifact the deals diffuse damage diffuse damage means that more legion there is less damage it will do to up to two enemy legions in a designated circle for three seconds you are basically throwing the arrows as we can see on the gameplay damage type is of course physical and damage factor is 350 the additional effect whenever your legion inflicts a debuff effect on an enemy legion using a hero skill uh, your legion deals 2% more normal attack damage for 15 seconds so which, which marksman heroes will give the debuffs, um, like for example Kinara will give, give a march speed debuff, some Gwenwin can give some debuffs, so there is a great use in this artifact, but I'm not sure if Kinara will benefit from normal attack damage, uh, it's more of a Syndrome and Freyguard damage type, so... I think um, like for the people who have does not have gold crests like me, uh, like we will be using Steel Heart Avenger on our Syndrion, which is a great a normal attack marksman hero. I like this artifact a lot. They understood that not everybody can get the legendary artifacts, especially gold crest and rattle spear, which I don't have both, and I want to have them so much. But yeah, I guess we have a new addition, Steel Heart Avenger for Syndrion for more normal attack will be a great thing to have. The third one, Lakeside Rhapsody, Magic PvP Assault, Magic uh, Artifact, Magic Unit Attack and the Legion Attack, great artifacts for a PvP and Magic Artifact in general. And yet again, deals diffuse damage up to two enemy legions in a designated circle, you are just throwing, I don't know, ice, something like this, right? And also, as always, Magic uh, Artifacts, damage factors are pretty high, 1000. Uh, it's a great number to have on an epic artifact especially and what's important about the lakeside rhapsody is that it deals additional damage whenever you inflict scorch 
which means Lilia, you inflict Freeze, which means Welling and Walder, or Ensnares upon the target Legion, which means Alwyn. Uh, can be triggered once every 30 seconds. So 30 seconds is too much, but I like this style. I like that this artifact will be used in many different heroes, such as, as I will mention, as I mentioned, Lilia, Walder, Alwyn, uh, Welling, and let's see about the Bertrand in the future. I like this style of artifacts, which can be used in a many different hero types. That's why I, I give a big thumbs up to Lake side uh, Rhapsody. The first one, Guardian Runic Longsword, um, Cavalry PvP tank uh, artifact, uh, Cavalry unit attack, Legion defense, pretty overall artifact. I'm not sure how good it will be on a Cavalry uh, hero pairs to have Legion defense. I guess for more survivability uh, and the uh, unit attack is must on every single Legion type. Deals physical damage to the selected legion, uh, like one single target. Uh, damage factor is 1200, and also the additional effect when your legion enters battle, they take two less range damage for 20 seconds. Effect ends after battle ends, can be triggered every 20 seconds. Well, the attributes already gave us more information than the skill, in my opinion. It's all about more defensive style of cavalry. Uh, playstyle, uh, not more of an offensive one because you have benefits while just staying alive and having a reductive 2% uh, less damage from the ranged units, which can be used, I'm not sure, um, uh, maybe some whales or maybe some uh, cavalry mains will have better opinion, but I think if you are playing cavalry unit, uh, you are your main idea is to deal as much damage as possible. Uh, the next one, Sunflame, Sunflame Hammer, it's time for infantry to get a new artifact. Uh, infantry PvP tank, uh, I will mention that tank is the best infantry talent in my opinion. Uh, infantry unit attack, legion defense, uh, pretty overall, um, both uh, attack and defense both are important attributes for infantry in general, after especially addition of the Goresh and Skolgul. Uh, deals physical damage to the selected legion. Damage factor is 1200, uh, your legion has a 20% chance to receive additional healing when healed or when received the shield. This effect can be triggered once every 10 seconds and helix factor is 150. Well, um, I like this artifact yet again because it can be used in many different hero pairs, uh, such as if we are speaking about healing, uh, Garwood, uh, Indis, uh, anything which gonna give you heals, uh, Eliana. Now, if we are speaking about shields, I think uh, Madeline has a great shield and great synergy with the Frostbear also. Uh, so, uh, nice artifact. Like, in my opinion, a epic artifact should be in a way that it can be used in different hero pairs. That's the main idea, in my opinion, about uh, epic artifacts. And this Sunflame uh, Hammer ticks all the boxes. Uh, like, choose whichever hero you want in infantry style and it will be useful in every single one of them. Uh, and one and only legendary new artifact which we are getting soon or like sooner and sooner we will get it. Uh, my Mirage Orb, Magic PvP Assault, um, like as I have heard there, there were like couple of controversies regarding this art artifact. Like honestly I don't really care uh, about the controversy or about the dramas, uh, like uh, whenever something new comes to the game it needs some testing, sometimes there is bugs, sometimes there is like uh, nerfs uh, whenever something new comes into the game, it's pretty normal in every single game. Uh, I understand uh, for the people and for their frustration whenever they are losing money, but this is a game development, in my opinion, it's not that easy. Sometimes you make uh, mistakes and that's important to change it uh, as fast as possible. Sometimes everything is fine uh, and your idea was perfect. I don't judge anybody, I'm playing this game to just have as much fun as possible. And I will repeat, I understand those people who spend money in this artifact and it got changed a couple of times. Uh, times it's frustrating but you should not point fingers at everybody uh, this is a game you are making your own decisions nobody's telling you what to do the mirage orb now about the artifact itself 
magic pvp assault artifact great talents for magic artifact in general and also great attributes magic unit attack legion attack it's an assault type of artifact and it should be doing as much damage as possible uh, being a legendary artifact regarding the skill deals damage to the target legion uh, then knocks two enemy legions near the target airborne and deals diffuse damage to them uh, well it says that it's a damage dealer artifact also some uh, control style in it which is pretty good the damage type is of of course magic damage factor targets 3000 like it's it's a lot uh, and also damage factor other legions who will get knocked will be 1000 which has like great use when especially whenever you are fighting in wars against the a couple of alliances you will have a lot of use in the mirage orb every time your legion gains a buff effect through a hero skill they deal uh, seven percent more attack artifact skill damage up to maximum 21 percent duration is 20 seconds well this this additional effect is a main uh, thing about the mirage orb in my opinion um, I have an, uh, like, view that the Mirage Orb is made for Bertrand or Tohar, that's, like, generally how it happens whenever we are getting new hero, they are giving us the artifact exclusively for that hero, but I think, um, like, this artifact has a huge amount of damage, uh, and because of that you can use in every single mage legion. Uh, especially it will be good, of course, if your mage legion's um, primary hero has a uh, debuff, uh, in its uh, first skill, so like a uh, great artifact, great choice. Uh, in general, I think we would have to have, we would want to have more accessible artifacts. And yeah, we are getting it every single season. Uh, we should not cry about it, like the game development takes time. And what's important is that every, every single new season we are getting more and more content in the game. This is the artifact which we will get soon. Well, my season T I just started two or three days ago, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna I'm gonna get these artifacts, especially epic ones. I'm not sure about the legendary one because that's more of like a uh, for the pay to win players. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the content I'm making, um, if you like the videos, if it's helping you, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to do. Uh, more content about Call of Dragons simply because, um, as I've um, repeated many times, I'm not spending any money in this game, not even a single dollar, and I'm still having a lot of fun playing the game. Uh, which I will suggest you, if you have not tried Call of Dragons, try it. Uh, that's the best uh, fighting uh, combat gameplay Kingdom Builder game that I have ever seen. Uh, this is all I wanted to speak in this video. Thanks for uh, watching. I'm gonna see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.